I was like, look, I'm going to have to marry a feminist. He's going to have to understand, like, women are people. Of course, of course. You know, women, women are people, equal rights. Yeah. Not just an object. Men think women are just an object? You would be surprised. You deal with a lot of, like, toxic men, I've realized. Think about it. What do men name their cars? <clears throat> men name their cars? I didn't know that. I have... Normally, they name them female things, right? Hmm. Female names. So you're saying men see women as an object. It's like something to own. Interesting. A lot of times. You get, you, and so a lot of times it's like, if you don't, if you don't do what the fuck I feel like you should be doing, then uh -huh. you're not worth anything. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, yeah. We, like our existence is just simply here, just just to do what you want. I, I, and it, 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 I can see if what you wanted was like, brought me happiness and uh -huh. great things. It's like, nigga... You want me to put up with stuff you yourself would tolerate. So it, it's a mm. lot of stuff. It's just it's just a lot of things that, you know, I just don't understand. It's not most men, though. It's no, just, it's, just it's a lot, but it's it's. Not it might be most, most men, like, in your sphere, but it's not most. You don't think? That's because you not. That's because you're not necessarily. But not, none of my friends are neither. You don't think? No, I don't think so, no. But you think so? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think, like, so a lot of people say, like, you can't trust women, but. The women I deal with most of the time are pretty trustworthy. I just feel like it depends on like what circles you're in. I don't have a lot of the problems people talk about. Like you never dealt with like a scandal. Of course I did. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. But I'm saying on not yeah. anymore because I just yeah. adjust. Mm. I see what that is and then move on. Yeah, and I'm like I know how to identify that. Mm -hmm. So like you just learn over the course of like you know talking to people. But my so, thing okay. is, why is it that when you can in most men they can't identify that that woman is not shit. You can like, see that, it's so but you would still do it. It's so tempting because if and you and then when she does you away, now all bitches ain't shit. Yeah, but like it, it goes both ways. At least, but it's like this. Yeah, this is the thing. Men be like, oh, well, you should pick a better man. Yeah, y'all gonna be forgetting True. that niggas pretend to be. Yeah, but you a can decent figure, ass you can, nigga. You can figure out who's capping. Yeah, no. Yes, you can. Y'all motherfuckers is. Yes, you can. No, no. I can tell when women are lying to me. I can tell. I could tell. Well, I'm not. I'm not like a hundred percent, but like, given enough time, you could tell who's lying. To you. I mean, after time, of course. Yeah. But it once you didn't throw that ass back. Oh, just don't do that before you know if you could trust them. Then how you feel? Like then niggas be like, oh well, if she ain't messing with me, then she got to be messing with somebody. I, I just wanted a little advice about what I should do with this one boy that I'm talking to right mm -hmm. now. He's like, he's a YouTuber, he does stream, he does all of that stuff. And I just wanted to find like an even balance between mm -hmm. that with him. And um, what do you mean by that? It's just been like really shaky okay, with him right now. Yeah. The other situation is like, it's pretty old, but I'm trying to see like if I should rekindle that in a sense. I'm, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, y'all can, y'all can figure out which situation you want to hear, but I can't hear y'all. So, it's kind of hard to know hey, when y'all are talking. How are we going to talk uh, to you? Hold is on, she hold server on. deafened? No, she's not. No, nah, maybe if she on her phone, she probably got to put it on speaker. Let me see. Um, the second one, though. Oh, that's just basically like me trying to see if I should rekindle with someone. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like I was in the wrong for how I went about that situation. Does okay. He, okay. I got a question. Because if you were in the wrong about how you did the second uh, person... How how did he take that? Like, what was the ending like? Was it was it bad or? Mm, it wasn't really bad because I didn't do anything, but he did. Oh. So that's why it's bad. Oh, so he did some stuff to to mess it up. Yeah, and like low key, I was I was thinking about this a couple of times. I'm like, you know what? Maybe I should just be that girl that knows my worth and, you know, not go against the grain and, you know, not go against my values. Mm -hmm. But then in the back of my head, it's kind of like, OK, what if I like what if I'm sabotaging myself on something that could have been good? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no. I don't think. What I type of guy is he? Yeah. I, if he, um, he's a Taurus. I hate uh, Tauruses. Every Taurus I've been with, don't trust him. Like, he lies. Kind of personality <laughs> oh, traits. Yeah, every, Every tourist I've been with has just been a bad scenario. Sneaky. Like one time I, you know I'm a tourist, I was talking right? to this guy, he had a baby on me, everything. <laughs> All right, keep going. Sneaky, don't okay, trust so, him. Joking, joking. So I guess I'll tell y'all about the second situation then. Okay. All right, bet. So me and his boy, we started talking. You know, he DM me and everything. Um, I knew that he had a girlfriend at the time. So I was just like, you know, let's keep it friends. Let's keep it cordial. Let's keep it cute. Everything like that. He, you know, 
he moved around a lot, like, you know, mm. serving and stuff. So one day I just asked him, I was like, you know, can you come serve me or whatever the case may be? And he came and he pulled up in his bitch car. So I'm like, all right, so y'all still talking or whatever? Because they be on and off a lot. Like, really, they be breaking up like every two days. Mm -mm. Yeah. So he come, he pull up, he serve me, he give me blah, blah, blah. And then he's like, can I take you out? Like, do you want to come over? Like, do you want to plan something? What's going on? Can I take you out? So I'm like, ain't you in your bitch car right now? Like, why do you really want to, like, fuck with me? Like, I'm so confused. Mm -hmm. So... I just let that go. And I'm like, you know what? I'll just keep it as friends right now. You could yeah. serve me. We can hang out. Just keep it cool. Keep it cute. Couple of days later, he's like, me and my bitch broke up. I want to take you out. Like, I have interest in you. I, <laughs> I been knew that I had interest in you. I want to take you out. Nah, I love how honest he is. That's hilarious. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, because I'm like, what's up? I'm Listen like, to me. Hell no. I'm that's like, a, that's a fucking, me, don't do it. Don't. It's a headache. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you just like this here. That right there, with him being in a situation that he can't close the door on, if you invest much more of your emotions or your time into it, it's gonna be a waste of your time. You're gonna mm. start going through, and everything that he's doing mm. to her, he's gonna do to you. Now, everything that, that he's doing to it. I'll give you some different advice. Nah. If let, you're bored, mm -mm. you should definitely entertain it. No. It's probably going to come with a whole bunch of fun, you, toxic shit. Nope. Because you if, know you're going to end up investing more e emotion into it than you expect just thinking that it's but, bored. But if someone's bored, it's just entertainment mm -mm, at the end of the day. Mm -mm. Like, you know he's not okay, going to. So she's a woman. That's so when she goes thing. to have sex, it's going to get it's going to get more intense for her. But it's going to be more emotional. I'm just saying if you're bored, that's this the thing. That's the thing, though. That's the thing. Like, me as a person... I love to love, so I don't give it away easily nah, because I know nah, how it is. Don't fuck with it. Yep. I'll, you should probably avoid cut, him. Cut him loose. Cut yeah. him loose. Cut him but loose. But there's more to the story. Okay. There's more, there's there's more to the story. Go ahead. Let's... Go ahead. All right. So, you know, he hit me up. He like, all right, I got interest in you now. I want to take you out. I'm done with my old bitch. Like, <laughs> I just want to focus on you. So I'm like, all right, cool. So like a month go by or whatever. And he's focusing on me. He's showing me like all of that. He's not yeah. entertaining nobody else. We spending like every day together. So I'm like, I'm feeling a little vulnerable, you know, like I could open up a little bit. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to stay the night with you. Uh -oh. So I said, yeah, 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 yeah. So I stayed in line with him, but this is like when like monkeypox like first started being announced. So I was already on verge. I'm like low key. I feel like you a dirty nigga. So I don't know if I want to like come over there. So I was on the fence about that whole situation, <laughs> but I mean I did it anyway. So I went over there. Yeah. And we chilling. Everything is cool. And then like I felt like it was kind of forced mm -hmm. in a sense. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't because it was like, I know what I'm doing and I know like what could come out of this. So it's like, I didn't know what to do. So I just like let him do whatever he wanted to do. What sexually? But I really didn't want to. What sexually? Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But I really didn't want to. It was like, I didn't want to, but it just felt like, you I don't know. I was feeling there. vulnerable. Yeah, I understand that. I, I've been in situations like that, but I still be like, no, nah, fuck you, nigga. I'm gone. But right, you, right, right, right. I understand and it's what like, you mean. Bro, it's like, bro, I'm grown, so I know what I'm doing. It's not like I'm just going around fucking right. anybody, like doing yeah. anything. Mm -hmm. It's just right. like you feel me. Yeah. I was just feeling right. vulnerable at the time, but it was like I felt like. I don't know if it's like a girl thing or what it is, but it's like you could feel it in your body when something not right. Yep. It's so I kind of asked him about that. I was like, like when the last time you done did this, did that, blah, blah, blah. And he felt tried up by it. And so this had led to That's an altercation thing. between me and him. He, he, Anytime they get like that, when you go to ask him some stuff that's necessary, that sounds narcissistic, and it sounds like he's in the defense because of something he's already aware of. Anytime you don't want to be addressed by something that you should be paying attention to, that there is a problem. That's just like just that's anytime they get defensive about trying to make sure like when was that's the last what time I know. Was, that's yeah. what I know. That's yeah. what I know. I'm like you getting mad defensive about it. Like I so just wanted should, to. Know. What was the altercation? What. Yeah, the altercation. The altercation was because I basically told him I felt like it was a little bit forced. I didn't really want to do it, but at the end of the day, I still did do it. But he just felt so tried up by me asking him that that like we got into an altercation, and so I beat his ass. Oh, good, good. Yeah, 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 oh, good, yeah. Good. I wasn't going out like that. Good. I had a little scratch on my eye, but 
that's not the point. That's not the point. I still beat his ass because what the fuck are you doing? Right, like you not finna force this shit. No, I feel right. that. Okay, so look, let me ask you, where do y'all stand right now? Like, where where is the situation right now? It was literally fuck that nigga. But uh-huh. listen, the reason why I was like on verge to stop fucking with him is because I thought he had something, mm-hmm. and he, you know, he felt tried by that or whatever. But I went to the doctor. And everything was good. And so now I feel like I'm low key a dummy for that because no. I'm like, he was telling the truth. Like, he really but didn't. You're not a dummy. It takes three to six months to know whether you have HIV or not. It takes six weeks for them to yeah. actually be able to, yeah, for them oh. to actually even detect it in the blood. So I, I would say this just because you immediately got checked out uh, recently or at, after y'all had sex, you still got timing to see, um, to be able to, uh, to actually correctly. Uh, check to see if there's any other like like aids or hiv or anything like that yeah and, um it's, it takes a minute for it to actually go through um but I, I that's not to put any fear in you or anything like that but oh yeah it, yeah but i it's know to make sure you you know it's never don't ever feel bad or feel like you were wrong for making sure you're questioning somebody or or finding out the health of somebody because i'm gonna be honest with you before i have sex with you I normally, we go get tested together. and I That's still, what I wanted to do, yeah, and he yeah. felt so in, in, intimidated by that or something. Well, like, Did you, did you did ask him that me. before you guys fucked? Yes, and he told me no. Okay, see, I wouldn't I wouldn't have did that. Yeah, I wouldn't even fuck with him. I wouldn't even Okay, fuck Asian, with him. don't laugh. I feel like you're laughing I'm right now. I'm not laughing. No, yeah, I'm not laughing. Yeah, no. I, like, don't it, laugh right now. Like, don't I'm laugh. Not, I'm not really laughing. Serious. I'm being dead ass. And it's, it, it's serious. It's something serious. Anytime, a, like, anytime somebody try you on some stuff like that, that's men or women. All right? This is not just a, a man thing because women do it too. Like, you need to, if you're going to be with somebody or you're going to deal with somebody or whatever. But I, I honestly, I felt like the red flags were at the very beginning. Like, we, we over time, as women, we tend to overlook the red flags in the very beginning with who people he are. He still went back to his ex. So it's Clearly, like, fuck it. it he point. always will. They all, and that's why I, I say, like, if, if a man wanna, is okay. in and out of a situation, don't even don't even entertain it. Because, again, once you invest your feelings and stuff in there, you're going to be disappointed. I, I've experienced it. He got kids with that girl? Mm-mm. Oh, he ain't even got kids with the girl. So he there there's Mm-mm. something even more emotional. Like, to be honest, to be honest, like I'ma just be like real real quick. Uh-huh. Okay. There's some fucking bums. And I was fucking bored. And it like it didn't hurt me because it's it's just like I just know like you're fucking weird and I still gave you the chance to show me that you weren't fucking weird. So why are yeah. you reconsidering? But him I, right I, now? I wouldn't I wouldn't. Um, Cause I just like I'm the person I feel bad when I accuse somebody of something and then they come out to not, you know, like be revealed in my eyes no, that it was don't ever feel bad about wanting to make sure your health and about what you do and your decisions with your body because guess what if he did have anything you'd have to live with that for the rest of your life don't ever question whether you want to get somebody make sure you and this person get tested don't ever feel bad about wanting to do that shit men or women this is everybody in this damn chat if you feel like you need to go and y'all get checked out or whatever the case is I don't give a damn if they get a defensive or they get mad or angry nigga you better get checked because guess what if you got something and you don't want me to know I gotta live with that no, because that's, that's actually illegal. It is. It yeah. is illegal, and they don't understand. That's a murder charge. It's almost uh, like it's almost like murder. They, yeah. They do, um, but to it, be it, as no, grown that's as the charge. Is, that's, like, yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. It's like a murder charge when you unknowingly. Yeah, when wow. you unknowingly, when you knowingly spread HIV. It's almost. It's like a murder charge. Okay. 